have. Yes. <laughs> yes. If you couldn't tell from my inner screaming fangirl, I managed to purchase something special. What do you think, Saitama? Okay. I managed to purchase the collector's edition of Violet Evergarden, this beautiful, heartfelt story about this young girl who has emerged from a war only knowing war and violence. Yet she takes up a new job as a ghostwriter to learn about human emotion, and it is one of my favorite anime shows. I just had to get it the moment it was available on Amazon. It took me a while to get it, someone purchased it before me, and then they released it again at a higher price, but... I mean, even if this was like a hundred pounds, or as Dr. Evil would say, one million dollars, it's, it's worth the price. I mean, look at this beauty of a collector's edition. I shall show it to you. So, the first thing I found out was that the little information seat at the back was kind of separate, so I had to put it in the box for protection. But this should provide efficient information for what you've got installed here. So this collector's edition not only has the DVDs of all the episodes, but also extra features. Apparently it even includes the OVA episode, the one where Violet Evergarden goes to the opera. And it also includes an art book and several stamps, I kid you not. So look at this gorgeous uh, cover alone. This is sort of a, a nice, wonderful sketchbook sketch design to it. And of course, there's the DVDs with the episodes in there. One and two, television series, one and two equals three. I wish there was more. <laughs> um, this is um, Violet Evergarden sort of typing away with her patient. I, I love the sketchbook aesthetic they've got for it. It, it reminds me of so, so, something I would work on if I was in Japan, probably. <laughs> There's the extra features. And this art book, this art book is ridiculously worth it. And there was something I forgot to mention. This also came with several postcards, very high quality postcards. Take a look at this. There's several screenshots from the actual show itself, and they consist of five snapshots. This first snapshot is Claudia Hodgins getting a toy for Violet, specifically a dog. There's thematic relevance with the dog. And then you've got this shot of one of Violet's friends working on a typewriter, which is quite crucial to the show. Then you've got this character looking at the bubbles in the water, apparently. <laughs> Violet walking around the town with the letters dropping down from the heavens because it was a special day to celebrate the letters passing on. And then you've got the basically the main cover except it's in a postcard format. And it even has the, uh, the typewriting from the back and a place to put on a stamp. This art book, despite being quite small in size, has plenty of amazingly high quality works. Little details of the character designs, like how to braid Violet's hair, what she was wearing, her mechanical arms, and the descriptions of other characters who are quite relevant in Violet's life, whether it be Gilbert here, or Claudia Hodgins, or even the teacher who taught Violet how to typewrite and to write with passion. It has uh, descriptions of who they are, and then descriptions of the, what went into making each of these characters individually. There seems to be a particular focus on character aesthetics to capture their personality. As I've noted- oh no, <laughs> not those characters! <laughs> that episode made me cry! And then there's the locations which are gorgeously vibrant and colorful and you even get details what went into key scenes and key areas which are frequent throughout the episodes. There's this scene here, the ruined cathedral from the battles as well as the details that went into making that, whether it be the storyboards or even the background art that you actually see in the show itself. But <laughs> And then there's the typewriter, which reminds me that some bits had to be made in CGI, yet it still blended tremendously well with the animation like the, the Iron Giant did, or even like Tartakovsky's Clone Wars. And you get details like uh, the ancient uh, text, the umbrella, that it, the infamous brooch that Violet always wears as a reminder of 
uh, Major Gilbert and his eyes. I, I like shining it in the sunlight because <laughs> that brooch is, is gorgeous, you know. And what fascinates me in this art book in particular is that they show you the details of the storyboards and the beats that go into telling the story uh, visually and what dialogue they say and details on the transitions and where the camera moves and what people are supposed to feel as well as specific details. It's really engaging actually just to see uh, what went into uh, the behind the scenes before the final uh, thing managed to come around in the animation that we are able to see and perceive. And yeah, there's not really much to narrate here. This um, kind of speaks for itself. <laughs> That's the best thing about show don't tell, eh? <laughs> it's kind of ironic for me because I'm telling a lot of things. And of course, it's not afraid to show off some gorgeous visuals and even the people uh, writing this art book are astonished of their accomplishments because um, they would have this kind of high quality of animation only on occasion throughout their previous works. But this show had to have high quality visuals throughout our television series, which is amazing. And this art book even goes into details about the language that they invented. So now I can understand what the letters are saying, assuming that you can translate them into English. Judging by the way they've phrased the numbers and the letters, they even go into a history of this fictional location that they're going in. Yeah, they go in deep, like these like, holy region, eat your heart out, code gas. Um, the political, religious, and uh, history, it, 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 it gets insane. <laughs> like, uh, this is something you would say for, I don't know, like a, a Tolkien encyclopedia? I, I guess you've got a, this encyclopedia as well as an art book. I mean, this is a bargain if you're going to buy it. And although if you are new to the series, I'd probably avoid reading it for spoilers, but I'm assuming you've seen this already. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's astonishing just how much detail they go into this thing. Even, yeah, like I said before, religious, it says that it's canon, it's canon, you can't back down from that. <laughs> um, and um, there's the theater. Uh, the theater is a one-off special episode. And then you get these uh, uh, pages of the uh, creators of this story and the show uh, talking to each other about the astonishing efforts they've gone into making this show. And that should conclude the Violet Evergarden art book for the Collector's Edition. This was one of the... It's, it's amazing, this thing. What do you think, Saitama? I approve. Then you get something quite thematically relevant. You get some stamps you can put in letters. There's a symbol of Violet as she walks in the end credit scene. And you open them up. I think these are actual stamps you can put in. I don't know if they're just cute stickers or whatnot, or if they actually do work as stamps, but whatever they are, they're stamps. They're genuine and they're <laughs> quite pleasing to look at. So there you have it. That is the Violet Evergarden Collector's Edition with four Blu-ray discs worth of content, an art book, several stamps, and five postcards. Absolutely worth the purchase. All for an astonishingly beautiful, heavenly show about finding out about human love and emotions and how love goes on for eternity. It's a beautiful series. I'd recommend it to anybody. Just get some tissues prepared and get your heart ready for potentially harsh content that appears. Just know that uh, love can't exist without an immaterial foundation to justify it by. So, Violet Evergarden, Collector's Edition, worth the purchase. Thank you. God bless you all.